many teachers often find themselves confronted with the situation of having students of different skill levels in the same class. The teacher may be in a circumstance where students in the class, beginning or intermediate, have had private lessons or have done self-study on the internet. Those students are beyond the skill level of other students in the class and maybe even the instructor. The teacher may be presenting a basic simple skill and the more experienced students are bored and don't feel challenged. How does the teacher keep the more advanced students involved uh, without overwhelming the beginning students? The solution to the problem is called layered learning. This concept means the teaching of skills on a variety of levels so or layers. So all of the students in the class can be playing the same exercise and or the pieces using different levels of the same skills. Some examples of how this could be done include when the majority of the students in the class are learning basic chords like G, C, and D7, the more experienced students could be learning the more advanced fingerings of the same chords like G, C, and D7 using bar chords. Um, or they could be playing different G chords or different C chords or different D7 chords. Another example would be if the majority of the students are learning to play pieces by reading tablature, the more advanced students could play the same pieces reading standard notation. Still another application of uh, layered learning would be while teaching the beginning students in the class to play a basic strum pattern for 4-4 like uh, The more experienced students in the class could play the same exercises or the songs using more advanced strum patterns. Or maybe. Maybe they could be playing alternating bass. Or maybe even finger picking patterns. Applying the concept of layered learning will keep all of the students in your class engaged without changing the repertoire content.